Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake forecast video for the month of May, covering New, New Zealand and also the Australian region. This video is exclusive content for subscribers of the SolarWatcher.net website, made public to showcase the content available. Now look at the important astronomical events for the month of May, with the standout being the transit of Mercury across the Sun on May 9, the Moon-Jupiter conjunction on May 15, and the important alignment or Mars opposition takes place on May 22nd. Now look at the important lunar influences that will be in play for the month. We see simultaneous interactions implying high volatility for the month of May. The Moon will be its strongest on May 2nd, May 8, May 15, May 20 to 22 is a strong period, and also towards the end of the month. Now looking specifically for the Australia and New Zealand mainlands, we see a fairly busy period the first few weeks of the month. We see colour coded in blue. The Australian periods for strong earthquakes could be on the 2nd, 15th and 20th to 21st. Whereas New Zealand, a busy start to the month as well, the 5th and 6th with conjunctions of Uranus and Venus. And we see that the 8th and also the period towards the end of the month, 25th through 29, also looks to be busy for strong earthquakes across New Zealand and the Australian mainlands. Now look at the important lunar perigee and apogee information and the exact overhead or longitudinal position of the Moon at the time of these events. The important lunar perigee favours a very strong shake across the Philippine Plate into Japan and the lunar apogee has a strong signature, this time over Africa and the Atlantic Ocean, specifically at high latitudes for Europe and the Norwegian Sea and also high latitudes in the Southern Hemisphere for the South of Africa and also the Bouvet Islands region. Now look at the important lunar declinations and this month we have a mirrored symmetry where both overhead or longitudinal positions of the Moon are occurring in the same part of the globe, which is a concern for a strong and very violent earthquake for either North America or an ocean based event for the East Pacific Rise or the West Chile Rise. I'm concerned of a strong shake here based on the lunar declination information. There are four important geocentric planetary alignments taking place for the month. May 9, as mentioned, Sun will conjoin Mercury. This is an important alignment and it does have a strong influence over the New Zealand mainland. May 13 sees Mercury conjoining Venus. This is an important alignment and very potent. Then we have the very strong Mars influence. Mars will oppose Sun and Venus on May 22nd and 25th. So we should see very strong earthquakes across the globe during this period as well. Definitely a time frame we all need to watch and monitor from May 22nd through to May 25th. Now the important Moon-Jupiter conjunction. It takes place on the 15th of May. And we could see a strong shake around the South Pacific Islands, South Pacific Ocean and in towards the New Zealand mainland. It's definitely worth noting the Moon-Jupiter conjunction. It is worth noting that the Moon will be making its third nearest approach to the Earth for the year on May 6. This will be classified as a supermoon, an important month to consider. Now the previous month in April we had another supermoon or the second nearest approach to the Earth and some very powerful earthquakes occurring. So this may be the case again in May. Definitely a month we all need to watch and monitor on May 6 and 7. And now the forecast for the New Zealand region. We begin on May 5th. We have strong resonance for the top end of New Zealand or the North Island with areas of focus being the East Cape, Hawke's Bay or the Tiaroa regions. Now again this is occurring just one day prior to the supermoon so we could get a very significant shake around 5 magnitude on this day May 5th. Now moving ahead to the 9th of May, this time the South Island of New Zealand or the base of New Zealand towards the Alpine Fault could see a shake to 4.7 magnitude. Areas of focus would be Invercargill, Milford Sound, Twizel or perhaps in Queenstown. This would be the areas of focus for May 9. Now moving forward to the 13th of May, the South Island of New Zealand could see a moderate to strong shake registered to 4.8 magnitude. Areas of focus will be Fox Glacier, Christchurch, Pegasus Bay or surrounding regions in the South Island. Now I'm concerned about this middle of the month period, May 13 right through 15, could see a strong shake across the globe, but only 4.8 magnitude is a forecast for New Zealand. Now moving forward to the 25th of May, where data and analysis suggest the possibility of the strongest shake for the month, 5.5 magnitude. Areas of focus will be for the top end of the North Island New Zealand. Key areas of focus will be the east of the North Island region, Bay of Plenty, Gisborne and possibility of a volcanic activation for the White Island for this time period on May 25th. And wrapping up the New Zealand forecast, May 28 could see a shake registered to 4.8 magnitude. This time areas of focus will be for the South Island New Zealand with key areas of focus being Blenheim, Pegasus Bay or Hamner Springs. 
And I'm concerned that the Pegasus Bay region may become activated again during this time frame from May 25 through May 28. Definitely a time frame we'll need to watch and monitor. In summary, the month of May represents fairly moderate to strong shaking for the New Zealand mainland, especially towards the end of the month. The key periods, as mentioned, May 25 through 28 could see one or two shakes registered over five magnitude and a fairly quiet start to the month for the New Zealand mainland with shaking around the North Island and also the South Island around Pegasus Bay and Christchurch. Now moving across to Tasman and the forecast for the Australian region for May. Now I'm expecting West Australia to have strong shaking during the month with three earthquakes registered over four magnitude on May 3, 20 and 25. Apart from that we should see strong shaking across Northern Territory. Areas of focus will be Tennant Creek and also a rare shake for Victoria on the 24th of the month also stand out. Specifically isolating areas of focus, as mentioned, West Australia could see the strongest shake for the month on May 3rd and 25th, possibility around 4 magnitude, with the highest being around 4.3 magnitude on May 25th. May 15th for Northern Territory and Tennant Creek stand out for a potential 3.8 magnitude earthquake, and as mentioned, Victoria 3.5 magnitude could be possible on May 24. The month of May represents a significant period not only in terms of lunar influence, but also planetary alignments and astronomical influences as well. We have an important Grand Cross taking place triggered off by the Moon on May 8. We see that the Moon is involved within two degrees of Jupiter, Saturn and Neptune. But this gets even stronger as we move towards the end of the month on May 31st where we have not only a Grand Cross involving Sun, Jupiter, Saturn and Neptune within two degrees, but also a Grand Trine taking place between Mercury, Jupiter and Pluto highlights a very important time frame towards the end of the month, early into June. And that concludes this volcano and earthquake forecast video for the month of May covering New Zealand and also the Australian region. For more information please visit solarwatcher.net. Due to popular demand I am providing a free newsletter covering an earthquake forecast for the rest of 2016 for the New Zealand region. For those interested there will be a link in the description box and also a promo at the end of this video. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.